welcome back, my name is Last No Meal, and today we're going to talk about Valorant. Currently, this game is in closed beta. If you actually want to get inside, they give out drops to random people when you watch certain streamers on Twitch. And since my friend got the key, he invited me to try it out a bit, so the gameplay you're looking at is me actually playing. Now, there is a lot of hype around this game. It had more than 1.5 million people watching them, you know, on Twitch. But let's face it, this was the only way to get into the closed beta, so... It was honestly a smart marketing move, because people will wait for it, it's always on top on Twitch, it's gonna be on YouTube, it's a very smart marketing move. So the game itself at first is like 60% CSGO and 40% Overwatch, obviously it does play out differently, it's not just a copy and paste, and the game is like... You had in CS, attackers have to plant the spike on one of the plants and defenders have to stop them. Now at first it takes a moment to get used to the controls and sensitivity. Uh, for me the game right now is a tiny little bit stiff with movement and shooting. Not too much, not too much, but it is, it is. Uh, the game is very punishing, your opponents can kill you pretty easy, as you can kill them. It's one headshot or a couple of bullets to the body and you're gone. Uh, currently, I just had a tad of a problem, as I said, with animation and gunplay. It's strange. Sometimes it's almost like it glitches out, but this game is in closed beta. Obviously, this won't be in the final, you know, version of the game before release, but generally, this game, if you wanted to compare it to CS, it's shorter and faster regarding the rounds, and I don't know, it's, you know, I, I had a bit more fun here than in CS, in CS you gotta play more seriously, you gotta especially if you're playing on Face It or anything like that. Gunfight starts almost immediately when the walls go down, and that's also a difference, like as soon as the, the match starts you can get killed. One peek and you're dead, so you have to start fighting as soon as the round actually starts. On the other hand, it is fun. I played three games and I could be back for more. I can definitely see esports potential here, you know, depending on Riot and how they handle the future development, but you know, it's their goal. They want to have another esports game, they want to go into the FPS genre, so this is basically their try. Servers are on 128 tick rate, you can notice that, which is good. It's finally nice to play a multiplayer game which has a good server tick, definitely needed for the esports scene. I mean, I was thinking about this game before and what would happen if this same game was developed and released by a smaller studio, let's say. If this wasn't Riot, I couldn't see this game getting the same amount of traction, same game, but different studio. But because Riot already has a mega popular game in their stock, they have millions and millions of people watching what they do, and they're definitely, you know, be counting a lot with this, you know, entering the competitive FPS genre, which will be interesting to see how it develops, because they have a lot of competition already. So, they kinda have to find their own way, I think, here. They have to separate this game from everything else. Uh, right now, it's, it's going good with that, to actually be separated from, you know, other games, from Overwatch, from CS. But yeah, it, they're doing it, they're doing it. So, how much, like, how big of a difference it's going to be, we'll have to wait as they actually update the game in the future. Now, as you probably know, this is also a hero shooter, meaning each class has their own abilities, and each hero is used for something. So again, when you're choosing a class, you have to think about your role in the game. You also have the usual buy section where you can buy weapons, abilities, because they each cost money to refill, and there is also ulti that you can collect uh, by finding an orb on the map, etc, etc. Generally, the strategies for this game will be interesting, because it's a combination of shooting and playing with abilities. And abilities are extremely important here. They determine how you push, how you defend, and I mean, currently this gameplay is funny because no one has any idea what are they doing, including me. Like, I had no clue. For me, this is more of a relaxing CSGO in a sense, and thank god it's not another Royale game. At least they are investing into something else. I mean, it's not revolutionary, but I see no problem for this game to have its own community really fast, and I see no reason for me not to play this game when it comes out. It definitely looks fun. Anyway, I think so far it's a solid experience, especially if you are playing with a full pre-made team, which is, you know, now impossible because it's in closed beta, but definitely more fun. Valorant ran really well for me, I didn't have any hiccups, uh, the frame rate was very stable, you can check the stats 
on the top of the video and I was playing in somewhat medium settings so this wasn't high but it wasn't low I had anti-aliasing and some stuff enabled so uh, this is the frame rate uh, that we got actually so yeah this was my first look of Valorant tell me down below what do you think about it and did you play it and in the future are you thinking of playing it just tell me down below also click that like and subscribe button for more videos and join our growing community on Twitter and Discord this is LKM signing out and stay classy everyone Bye-bye.